channel so today I am here with a super duper exciting video we are going to be doing a first impressions on the Sims 4 mobile create a sim so as many of you know I did get an opportunity to be flown out to EA uh, in Redwood Shores California to experience the Sims 4 cats and dogs as well as get me manos on the Sims mobile which was really exciting for me personally because in the past I haven't been the biggest fan of any real Sims um, uh, mobile application and I was really 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 intrigued by this one so just in this video alone we're gonna go over and cast but if you would like to see some gameplay you should definitely stick around for the next segment of this little mini series type of deal um, so yeah let's go ahead and jump on in I would like to make note of two things first and foremost this is my first time ever being hands-on with the Sims mobile so don't expect a lot out of me because even I didn't expect a lot going into this thing to be honest with you I am not a huge mobile platform person. Uh, I love to play them on my pastime. Never really expected to get attached or really um, immerse myself into the gameplay where you know I was invested I suppose uh, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys quickly 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 in to my experience with Cass I realized I was starting to get attached to my sim because as you go in you are able to customize almost everything about your sim to really be able to create this unique individual that either reflects yourself or maybe someone you have in mind you can go in and change the skin tones and there's a bunch of different shades to choose from you can change the head shapes the eyes Eyes, the nose the mouth the cheeks the chin the ears and then when you think you're done you're not you can even go in and fine-tune their physique so today I am creating olive and my goal was to go in there and just really have at it and see if I could walk away from Cass feeling like I wasn't missing anything from the PC version now it's not going to be comparable in many ways but it is pretty dang close I mean I feel like it competes in a league of its own so that was was really exciting um, and and for me I just I, I really enjoyed it I really did I think my favorite thing about me about this creative sim is um, being able to to kind of control your your sims uh, features with these very unique sliders they're kind of like sliders but you put your finger in and you just drag with your finger it's like molding your sim with your fingertips and I mean it quite literally I'm not even exaggerating like this is this was honestly a lot better than I had expected and I hadn't even gotten in to the gameplay I can't even wait to tell you guys about my experience there um, and I also would like to make note of the fact that I am voice voicing over this after the fact so uh, it might be a little weird to be doing it this way but unfortunately you're not able to record at that present moment so hope you all don't mind if you do have any questions about create a sim let me know in the comments down below um, as this being my first experience, I'm pretty sure my knowledge is pretty much limited and everything I know is what you guys are seeing. Um, so as I'm kind of, you know, closing in on this sim, I just wanted to go in and really see how fine-tuned I could get and just see if I could create my own personal sim style in the Sims Mobile. And I think I honestly succeeded. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. How do you feel Olive turned out? And I really do wish, I really do wish, um, she was a real sim. And you know what would be a lot of fun? Creating Olive in The Sims 4. I am going to do it. I am going to do it because I loved, I loved her. And let me tell you, <laughs> this girl, drama, you can actually, you know what? I can't tell you those things just yet. I'll tell you in the gameplay video. You guys got to watch. You guys got to watch. So that should be coming up uh, either after this video or possibly tomorrow. Now, is there any downfalls, any things I should tell you guys I wasn't like completely um, enthralled about? So I feel like when it comes to the hairs and the clothing, selection is very limited. Um, I, from the brief opportunity I got to speak with the creators of The Sims Mobile, I do think that you have uh, opportunities to earn and unlock more items as your game progresses. So just because you don't see a lot here uh, at face value, don't, don't be afraid. <laughs> you will be able to customize your Sims further by unlocking you know different hairs um, and different clothing pieces as well so yeah as I was saying earlier about being able to control your physique here's a little demonstration of what that looks like um, you can control the extremities I mean the shoulders everything like the waist the busts 
the, 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 the lady humps, I mean everything, literally. And I do feel, like I mentioned, that the, the cast selection is a little limited. I kind of felt like I wasn't really able to capture um, the style of the sim that I envisioned, but I do feel like I did a pretty okay job. And since I was really happy with her facial features, I felt like the rest, the rest, <laughs> could come a little bit later. So I think that pretty much wraps it up for Create a Sim in The Sims Mobile. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. And I will be sure to link the gameplay portion of The Sims Mobile in the description as well as at the end of the video when it is available to you guys. And with that said, don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Comments down below where the sun does not shine, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.